people it's your boy jay welcome back to beast reviews and today guys we're going to be um reviewing the top done yeah art link 300 obd reader so i had a few problems with my mark 7 transit recently i've brought it um general things you know service you know stuff like that but unfortunately guys driving the other day and uh, the engine management light decided to come on yeah I've tried turning the key I've tried everything not going off as you know guys um, I do a lot of mechanical stuff for myself and uh, you know I like to save money and stuff like that and um, I ain't gonna go to a garage yeah I'm gonna do it myself I'm gonna work out what the problem is I could do it myself so I've gone out I think I paid like 18 to 20 quid for this. Um, read reviews on it, they're supposed to be pretty good and stuff like that. And I have done a video uh, previously in a, a Vauxhall Sephira on my channel where I took an engine management light off and told you what the problem was with that. Well, today, guys, we're going to do it with the Transit Van. So, guys, Mark 7 Transit Van, okay, location for your OBD is underneath here so you've got some plastic underneath here just pull it off drop it off and there it is there guys yeah so let's get this plugged in okay so what you're going to do with it is uh you've got to plug it in and then turn the vehicle on and then it'll all power up and everything then okay let's get it plugged in It she's pushed in there now. Very nice. Right, let's close this door. All right, straight away, guys. Plugged it in. Not even turned the ignition on. Boom, she's on. All right, she's all on. So what I'm going to do is now is I'm going to start her up so we can get a proper reading. Let's wait for that glow plug light to go off. Start up, running low on diesel and I'm on the hill. Does not help. All right, guys, as you can see, yeah, we're lit up now. Very, very simple to use this device. Absolutely simple. As you can see, it turns on, you've got diagnose, you've got look up, you've got help, and you've got settings. But all we're going to do is, guys, yeah, is we're going to go on the diagnose. It'll already be on that, yeah. Just press OK. Okay, okay, okay. Scan it. Okay, read codes. Let's see what codes we've got. So we've got EGR valve vacuum regulator. So EGR valve is fucked. <laughs> so that's going to cost me about 130 quid. Do a video on that, I think, when I order one. Be after Christmas now when I fix this because uh, I'm not currently using it at the moment anyway now. So I'll be making a video on the um, EGR valve replacement after Christmas. But you've got your code there, your P1409. If you're not sure what that is, if it you know for whatever reason using another machine or and it's not telling you just put it in google and it'll come straight up anyway there's a lot of fooled um people out there that know every single code so anyway i know what it is egr valve vacuum that's why it's idling a little bit rough and it's taking a little bit more time to start so anyway press ok actually go back sorry my bad so press exit because we know what the code is erase code so we're going to go down to erase code press ok clear yeah let's get that light off ignition okay so we're gonna turn the engine off now yeah leave ignition on but um just leave engine off right so we're gonna turn it off emission related that has been cleared perfect sweet so now if we go back to read codes we shouldn't have any codes the vehicle has no codes sweet let's start her up then let's see if the engine management light's gone off okay so this will get you out a bit of bother, guys. If you've got to go for an MOT in the morning, but your engine management's light on because of the EGR valve, it will fail with that light on. So buy yourself a machine, 18 quid, 15 quid, whatever they are now on eBay or Amazon or wherever. Get it plugged in. Get that light off, right? Ready for your MOT. Oh, God. <laughs> Never waited for the glow plugs. <laughs> uh, and it'll get you for an MOT. Just to let you know, with the EGR valves, once you take the lights off, guys, yeah? They don't stay off for too long, but there you go. The, the engine management light is off. So if this was performing in any sort of limp mode because of that light being on, I'm not sure if it does or not, 
it, it, that will take that away. There you go, engine lights off now, guys, yeah? I'm using the top done, I swear it was at like 18 quid to 20 quid maximum. Very simple to use, it does a lot of things. Um, and yeah, as I've said, if you've got an MOT coming up and you've got an engine management light on, okay the only way you're going to get that any engine management light off is two ways to get an mot the first way is you taking it off yourself for pennies okay two second job or you're going to go to a garage and they are going to tell you exactly what the problem is your egr valve they're going to change it over whatever part it requires they're going to charge you for that right and if you haven't got the money at the time yeah, it's going to cost you a bum because I know an EGR valve for this van is over a hundred pound. Then they're going to charge you labour. So I'm going to go off maybe two hundred quid upwards to change your EGR valve and all that. And guys, if you ain't got the money, just go and do that temporarily. Get your light off, get it for an MOT. When you've got a bit more money, go for your EGR valve. It has not affected this van in any way. I've not gone in limp mode. It's not lost power. Runs a little bit rough on a standstill. As you can see, the needle will go up and down slightly but it's not stopped me from using this van which means i ain't going to change this till over christmas so if this is doing mot tomorrow or next week or whenever i'm getting an mot because the lights are so guys thanks for watching my videos i've been jay beast reviews catch you in the next video thumbs up subscribe notifications and any comments see you in the next video peace out